Really, the most important question when we're suffering is not necessarily why, but where do we go? Where do we go for help? The psalmist says, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? Where does my help come from? It's, you see, this question of why is, it's not an intellectual question, seeking an intellectual answer. It's, an, it's a question of the heart. It's a question of the, of the spirit and of the soul. And his answer should be our answer as well. My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. Even verse 26 says that, that God sends his Holy Spirit to help us in our weakness. The Holy Spirit, it says, intercedes on our behalf in groans too deep for words. God sends his Holy Spirit to help us in our spirit and our time of weakness. God is faithful. God is faithful in his love for us and his promises to us. And when we cry out to God in honest suffering and honest despair, he doesn't turn away from us. He draws nearer to us, nearer to us. Honest crying out to God. Um, the need of the heart is not simply an explanation or an understanding. It's a cry for help. It's a, lo- a longing for comfort. And it's a, de- a deep, deep, deep desire for hope. The suffering that we might, the present suffering we are enduring and experiencing cannot be compared to the future glory that we hope for in our hearts. So can I, I still cling to hope when my heart is broken? When we're suffering, God doesn't change. Even though our circumstances may change, God does not change. And God is faithful, always, always faithful.